fucking just stopped at Walmart just to take a shit. I had to go, I had to take a shit. So you fucking when you gotta take a shit, you gotta take a shit. Just go. Just go do it. And it doesn't matter where you are. If you gotta do it in the woods or something, find the nearest fucking toilet. Just take a shit. <laughs> you know, don't wait. That bad for your colon. And, um, so yeah, I was just thinking about how, like that, that took me about 10 seconds. They probably thought I went in there and took a piss, you know? I was like, Poof! in and out. There was sloppy, like, you sh I should have filmed both toilets, but they, they were like both, like a mess. They were like dirty, just covered with like sticky feces. <clears throat> I guess, oh man, what do I do? I'm just gonna pace around the parking lot. Look like a crazy person. Uh, I was thinking about my aunt last night. Or, yeah, oh well, I, you know, blew it now. But I, my aunt, we were out to dinner last time I saw her. And she told me that she hadn't crapped in a week. Now, when we were at this dinner place, I just thought of, just for shits and giggles, I'd let you know my, my meal was a plate of, <laughs> like, stir-fried vegetables. I, there was literally not a single vegan item on the menu. All the salads had bacon. There was no garden salad on the menu. And so I asked, can you please, you know, this is what I want. I told them, like, just give me lettuce and tomatoes. And I said, if you got, like, a steamed vegetable dish you can do, go right ahead. So I get the, the salad. Salad's about the size of my fist. Uh, it wasn't bad. It was about a $10, $15 salad, and then the, the, the meal was like, the, the veg, steamed vegetables was three pieces of uh, exotic vegetables that I'd never tried before. But maybe 100 calories and 90 of those calories came, or, you know, 150 because 140 of them came from the oil that they covered it in, you know? And just the way we think about nutrition is so whack, man. Like, yeah. People don't want to fucking save the world. We just want to live like kings and queens. And you're telling me the vegan diet, you know, the fruitarian, like raw food lifestyle is too expensive. And you're going eating like fist sized portions and you're like covering in olive oil, you know, <laughs> and stuff like that. And it's just like people want to live this decadent lifestyle and eating, eating fruit, you know, off a tree, as much fruit off a tree as you want is not living a decadent lifestyle, you know? It's not about the money, it's about the costs to society. That's what makes it expensive. So, um, yeah, anyway, she told me that she hadn't crap for a week. <laughs> and I've had other friends who tell me this too, and so I'm just like, this, this I, I had the same problem. This is like, uh, this is actually, I was constipated, that's why I had turned to the vegan diet and I started looking at what's healthy, you know? And I learned that yes, a plant-based diet is healthy for life. You can eat that way for life, it's much better. Um, for constipation, there's just no, there's no other option, you know? <laughs> there isn't. You can give yourself diarrhea if you cause rabbit starvation by eating too much protein. I don't think that's really cleansing you though. The only, <laughs> so, um, there's no other option. People in Ethiopia, you know, people in, uh, like, the poorest countries in the world, they eat the, the poorest diets, but they pass literally many times more uh, uh, m feces, more fecal matter in weight than people in a lot of parts of America. So, the, you know, and these people live on starch. Uh, that, that's their diet. They live on starchy staples, cheap fucking food, you know, and the nutrient-dense. It's good for you. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's the ticket, you know, just eat plants, plant-based diet, nothing that's not a plant. And uh, like for me, and I think for other people too, who are really just severely damaged from this Western way of eating, you know, throughout life, there's literally little babies. Like, don't, don't shit for weeks, you know? Uh... I, I gotta keep going this way. There's people over there. So, so there's there's people like me who need to eat like as much fucking fruit as possible. And it's like, yeah, I've been raised in this Western world. It only makes sense, really. Like, I think it's your responsibility to uh, work, work, you know, 
if not just eat a more sustainable diet, then to, you know, fucking pound in the fruits and vegetables, man. It's your fucking duty. <laughs> if you've been, like, living this extravagant lifestyle with the meat, you know, the, and the processed crap, the meat, mainly, you know, stuff. So you get constipated, and then if you're constipated and you continue <laughs> eating, which you have to eat, you know, people expect you to, like, go through life and live and do your daily duties, which takes fuel. You can't just not eat if you're fucking constipated. If you're constipated and you eat, it stretches out your colon, ruins your colon, ruins your digestive system. You're, you just, you're, you're intestines are getting ruined and it doesn't mean it's irreparable it might be you know but it's like gotta take this stuff seriously you know and so people question whether me eating like all the fruit all I want I want you know just like not really worrying about grains or not not eating a lot of beans and stuff uh, which are the health you know healthiest sources of protein zinc you know all the, all the minerals and stuff uh, if you're talking in terms of density, just like the greatest portion of it, you know, the, the uh, plant protein for the win, right? But I'm not worried about the protein. I'm not worried about the zinc and stuff. I'm worried about healing my fucking body, man. Like <laughs> fixing the damage I've done with my fucked up diet growing up my whole life. And, and so people are like, well, is fruit, you know, is eating like a fruit based diet, like a high raw food diet healthy? You know, is that really healthy long term? I'm like, I, I just gotta, you gotta do what the fuck it takes uh, to, to get, <laughs> to fix your digestive system, man. And so rest assured, there are many people who go years and years and years, decades even, many decades even, eating fruit, fruit and greens, fruit and lettuce, raw food all day long, low fat, you know, not even heavy on the nuts and seeds, if any. And uh, they, they heal diseases and stuff like that, man. I'm not saying it's like everybody has to do that. But if you got fucking issues, man, and you know this is what you gotta do, you eat some prunes, eat some oranges, you know, have some Datorade, <laughs> grapes, whatever, there's hundreds and hundreds of sweet fruits and the food system is just so fucked. And this is why we need to change stuff, just people are, this is why, you know, I, I get in people's faces and I'm like, fuck this, we need to change this. You're feeding your kids, like, fucking dead animals that are just not healthy for the colon, man. Like, the, the heme iron in, in the meat and stuff. There's people, okay, there's people who have dis, diseases, genetic disorders, you know, problems with their body. Diseases that r might require some uh, extra iron, you know, some extra XYZ, because they got a... A disease like there's per certain people who, whose bodies can't make cholesterol but this isn't a normal <laughs> you know this this, this is a malady the, the disease when people have these things so uh, this video is not for you, you know, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not your doctor I'll never be one but with uh, the <laughs> you can't be just feeding your kids like the, 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 the type of stuff that we know causes these problems and it ruins your entire life believe me I know from experience it, it, I was incapacitated, C couldn't work, you know, had no desire to socialize whatsoever, completely isolated myself, and just slept in a sleeping bag, basically, and ate out of dumpsters for a year. D accomplished zero, except for learning how to eat healthy, you know? That's it. That's all I did. Learn how to fix this. And so, people are like, I don't know if that's healthy, like, I think I'm afraid to uh, heal my disease with a method that's known to work. Like, okay, so I, I just want to explain this a little more. Um, I know this video is kind of all over the place, but like your colon's all clogged up, right? And it just stretches out. If you got excess weights, it stretches, not in a good way. You know, a little expand, contract. You know, that's how you build the muscles in your in your colon. And, uh, but, uh, it, it, this, I'm talking stretch, it gets out of whack, man. And, and then muscles are all just like loose, flabby, like wrinkled skin, you know, stretch marks, like not functioning properly, but not, not tight and toned. And it takes a long time to fix that. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't fucking matter if eating all, only fruit is, is healthy, long term. Do it for 
two, three, four, at, at, you know, at least a few years. Do it for at least a few years, fucking living disease free. If you're constipated chronically, do it disease free. Uh, you know, I'm talking, just do what it fucking takes, man. Get get your your frozen blueberry. What, what do I eat? It's like, I, eat fucking fruit, man. Eat juicy fruit. Period. Get some prunes. Prunes are cheap as hell. And, and, and that that's the, the ticket. That really is it. The only way you're going to cure it permanently is if you don't live with that fucking disease. So I promise you, if you have a day where you eat nothing but prunes, you will not be constipated anymore. I promise you. You might puke if you're, if you're that constipated. I've had it happen to me. I'm really constipated. Eat a bunch of prunes and you get so bloated, all the water just goes straight into your intestine and you ha your body has to get rid of it. So you puke and puke. Eventually you get unplugged and you get diarrhea. Uh, you know, or just loose, juicy bowel movements. I don't know, even know if it's diarrhea, technically. Um, and yeah, it's, it's so once you're there, the key is you don't stop. You, you stay in that state. Never, ever get constipated, even the slightest bit. You want to be having, uh, for every time you eat, you want to shit. Absolutely, every single time. Your bowel movements should be loose. They should come out completely effortlessly, not minimal effort. They should be absolutely, completely effortlessly. And that's the only way you're gonna keep your colon like pumping it out. And shit. Man, I gotta stop dropping that. Just keep it pumping it out. And, and, and don't live with the fucking disease. Don't live with the fucking disease. Like, just get. Get rid of it. it. It can be gone tomorrow. And, and no one would ever know, right? Like, you think you're in the... You think it's permanent just because you can't eat, like, the same foods that all these other sick people are eating and say that they're fine. Like, oh, yeah, I've never had a problem with constipation. You just smell what people... They're, you know, they fart and it fucking stinks up the whole room. It's like, yeah, right. Like, that hasn't been rotting in your gut for a couple days. You know? So don't... Uh, don't <laughs> don't let it overtake you just because you you, you, you yeah, even like those Ethiopian kids I was talking about who live on the rice and stuff. I can't do that because I just I wasn't born I I was born with a healthy colon, but it's been destroyed over the years. But I'm happy. I'm, I'm living without disease, and I'm eating healthier than everybody else. I got more energy than everybody else. So just don't like you're you're not like unusual. There's the tons of these people out there and nobody wants to talk about it that's all there is to it uh yeah but just doing this in front of everybody it's kind of funny so i hope you get the point like don't it, it to whatever extent possible i'll I watch my videos i'll lay out what i eat and, and uh yes it, it doesn't matter what people tell you uh, it is healthy if it's not working for you. The, the, we know these are the best foods in the world. Like, What's more important, you getting some zinc deficiency like 15 years in the future or right now you can't even work because you're just clogged up like toxic. You're going to get cancer in, the, in that, that same 15 years. So pick one, you know? <laughs> what do you want? Something that might happen and there, we have very little evidence uh, to show, you know, what, what's going to happen to you if you do this, it's, it's all about, like, just get through your day, be happy, drug-free, uh, that's what's really most important, so it's a simple formula, but people are afraid that it, it's unhealthy for some esoteric reason, and just fucking do it, and you'll, you'll feel a lot better for it, alright, thanks for watching, peace.